Super Retro Force. What is going on YouTube? I wanted to do a video that I haven't really done for a while. Lately, it's just been talking about, you know, mental health and all this stuff. But I wanted to go back to kind of the roots and talk a little bit more about the retro gaming themselves. And I decided to do a video of my top five favorite uh, PS1 era RPGs. Now, these are in no particular order. These are just five that I really loved as a kid and still enjoy to this day uh down the road i plan to do another one of these so let me know if you guys like these videos and we will continue on but let's start off first like i said no particular order just my top five favorites and one of the first ones i wanted to talk about today was final fantasy 8 now i remember the first time i played final fantasy 8 was actually on a demo you can only do the first i think it was seed mission and I just remember being blown away by the graphics, the fighting system, and just coming off playing Final Fantasy VII shortly before that, just the intenseness of the game. Now, a lot of people are very controversial about Final Fantasy VIII, and I think a lot of times voted as one of the weakest links in some of the OG PS1 era RPGs, but I love the story, I love the characters, and I was a big fan of like the Guardian Force, the GF. Uh, system and also the magic in it how you could just draw magic from enemies and it was just it was just all around one of my favorite games rpgs and to this day i still haven't beat it i need to go back and restart a game because yeah i got to the final boss area and i wasn't high enough leveled and yeah i got stuck there so really lost my motivation over the years so i really want to get back to playing final fantasy 8. next if we're going to talk about final fantasy we might as well talk about yeah Final Fantasy 7. Probably voted, I would say, as one of the best RPGs of all time, or at least one of the rec best recognizable ones. Final Fantasy 7 with the, the amazing story, the summons, the materia system, the weapons, the characters, and just all around your... It's like, to me anyways, the perfect, perfect blueprint for how to do a turn-based RPG. Uh, it was so well received and of course they've continued on with it nowadays we are so lucky to be able to get the final fantasy 7 remasters i'm looking forward to playing the newer one i played the one that they released a few years ago and to me it was still an amazing game i just missed kind of the turn-based stuff but you got to go at the times but final fantasy 7 i just remember spending so many hours playing that game breeding chocobos exploring what felt like every inch of the land because i didn't know at the time that you had to have a certain chocobo to get all the summons with knights of the round and everything so i struggled along that path but i just remember it being one of my first experiences playing rpgs uh, my friend brought it over when he spent the night and we stayed up literally all night playing it until the point where we basically get out of midgar for the first time so to say that this rpg doesn't have a very good uh, hold on me nostalgia wise is just an understatement so next we're going to jump on to oh man so besides final fantasy 8 this was one of the first rpgs i played that had four discs uh the legend of dragoon now god when i say the ps1 era was the best when it came to rpgs is undeniable this, I remember, was also a demo that we played the hell out of. And the whole battle system, the being able to transform into a Dragoon, and once again, the story was just absolutely blew us away. And I still, like, we'll talk about this with my next choice too, but a lot of times that these battle systems and that, you know, when you do physical attacks, stuff is very plain. But I loved how this one turned into almost like a quick time event that over time you can master and get more and more attacks and to do more damage. It was also one of my first games that I experienced a main character lost throughout it, besides with the, well, let's face it, it's not a spoiler alert anymore, besides losing Ares in Final Fantasy VII, this was one of the first games that I played that you actually lost one of the main characters too, and it really blew me, it was blew me away. It was very sad, but the story, like I said, four discs, guys. Like, when I was a kid, that was insane. To me, that felt like four different games. And I failed to mention that with Final Fantasy VIII. But it was just... 
going back and listening to the music on this one too and just enjoying everything about it i like the music for the legend of dragoon i don't think think people remember as good as it was and like i said the characters just and i still remember beating this with my my cousin my one cousin we stayed up all night and that seems like a lot of these stories were back in the day and I think it was about 5.30 in the morning when we were fighting the final boss. And it was a very long fight because I had ran out of certain supplies. So we had to heal a certain way. So you'd get attack, heal, heal, heal. Get one attack in, heal, heal, heal. And it just took forever. I remember when we were sitting up there. I think we were eating Doritos 3Ds, the jalapeno kind. And just drinking uh, Coke all night. So I definitely would have to throw in the Legend of Dragoon in my top. Probably not just PS1 era RPGs. But just RPGs of all time. And I don't think it honestly gets enough love. I know a lot of people talk about it. That are that are huge RPG fanatics. But I myself do not believe that it gets enough love nowadays. So if you guys have not played this and you love RPGs. You need to play it now. Number four. Oh man. I This has gone down as one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Um, not necessarily just for the PS1. But I remember my f buddy coming over that had introduced me to Final Fantasy VII, and he had brought this over, and the whole game, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I think this was one of the first games that I went out and actually bought a strategy guide because I got stuck at one spot. And I remember using, I can't remember if it was my birthday money or just some money I had around. And it was just so great. I, I just, like, even looking, like, looking at the back of the case right now makes me really want to dive in and play this game again i streamed the game to completion on the youtube channel and twitch a couple years ago and it kind of makes me want to go back but like legend of dragoon when you attacked on this game it was very different you had you know left foot right foot left fist right fist and you had to make combos and over time your bar would get bigger so you could do more combinations and then you basically figured out your own arts that way your special attacks and then not only that the story in this one is top notch i know i've said that about every one and i think that's the main draw to a lot of rpgs is the story itself but besides the characters besides the story just the overall theme of this game is amazing there's only three main characters that you play as which back in the day was kind of not foreseen usually you had a a, a large roster of characters but this one was just three characters and you get them pretty fast and you just go through the whole game now this one was only one disc but i think when i played it a few years back i think i put about 35 to 40 hours in on just this one disc absolutely amazing game when people ask me what's one rpg that people have never probably played that they're missing out on it is definitely this one for number five guys so i don't actually have a physical version of this game i had ordered it a while back online through makari and the person had shipped it disc only because it was a loose game they shipped it with the disc only into in a a paper sleeve in an envelope not a shipping envelope a letter envelope so when that game showed up it was actually cracked in half i ended up giving my money back but Ever since then, I just haven't had a chance to grab it. But I, I haven't mentioned the game yet, so we better go on. The Breath of Fire Three. You know, just talking about these games really gets that nostalgia juices flowing, and allows me to go back to when I was a kid. So Breath of Fire Three was another one of those games that I spent so much time playing. And it wasn't until later on in life that I actually played all the way through and was able to beat the final boss. So not only did you have a vast amount of amazing characters, you had a great story. You had, oh my gosh, it's just one of my favorite things to do in this game after so long. Your character Ryu was a... Uh, a brood member which is basically part dragon so later on you kind of start collecting these stones and you can use these stones to combine together to make different kind of various dragons that you transform into and i just remember spending so many hours doing this 
and it was just so fun to do and then on top of that it was one of my first real games that i had such fun like stealing from enemies so the main well, uh, one of the original characters that you get he has a stealing ability that it just was so fun to try and steal stuff i still just it's such a great game guys um i, I breath of fire 4 don't get me wrong if that was gonna be an honorable mention it would have to be breath of fire 4 it was so fun to play that and to me it wasn't as good as three but it's still a great game i've have yet to gone back and play the originals on super nintendo but i plan to do it someday if i get some free time but talking now about not the games themselves like like breath of fire 3 we're gonna get more into a deep just quick little conversation about rpgs themselves now a lot of people know when you play an rpg you have to dedicate hours and hours and hours to them and i've gone on the stand record in the past that i've actually really enjoy like save states because it allows you to quick jump in and out of your games so that way if you got stuff to do you can just save where you're at quick come back later and play it now when back on the ps1 area obviously we had memory cards and only certain save points so you couldn't do that but as an adult you know 37 years old full full-time job part-time job too three kids and a family to support and everything like that it is hard to find time to sit there and play through one of these long long games so it's just kind of something that i miss from when i was younger and i had all that free time and i was thinking about starting to do like an rpg saturdays on this channel where every saturday i would just post some gameplay or even do live streams and play for a little while but I don't know how well I would do on here, and I'm kind of not, not. I feel like if I ever dedicate or try to dedicate to someone on this channel, I end up always just over time losing interest and in doing something else. So, I love the PS1 era RPGs. They play a huge part in my childhood gaming. I loved, you know, don't get me wrong, the Super Nintendo was probably my second favorite for RPGs. That thing had so many great rpgs as well especially some of my favorite final fantasies like final fantasy 6 and like i said i'd like to try the original breath of fires on it as well but i just wanted to do this video today because i yeah i mean even just sitting here talking about this and thinking about it all makes me just really miss it and i want to know in the comments below you don't have to do a top five but you can just mention some rpgs that you loved growing up or even if you didn't like rpgs i know a lot of people were not fans of this type uh it was considered nerdy it was considered just not nobody was into it people would much rather you know play sports games or dive in and play you know sonic or mario but there is a mario rpg so uh let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about it what some of your top rpgs are and do you think i should do something similar but do maybe super nintendo or ps2 because i could talk a lot more about those so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and as always stay retro my friends i will see you in the next video